I'm going to the apple orchard to get my apples to make my apple pies for Thanksgiving. When we first moved in this house here in 1971, maybe 72 or 73, I used to make pies all the time, but uh, I can't eat them, so I don't bake them anymore, although I should bake them for my family. When my granddaughter was still living over there, Attica, I used to uh, peel apples and she used to go, look, look, Oma, you got a whole one. And they used to love them. A lot of work behind it. Apple pie, I think, is the best when it comes first out of the oven and it's nice and warm yet. And some big apples, look at them. It's all American, I think. Like in uh, Germany, where I come from, we don't have apple pie. Never had apple pie until I came over here. When I went out with my husband, the first Thanksgiving, uh, he brought me to have my first Thanksgiving at the uh, middle daddy base where he was. And we had, uh, we had some apple pie there too. I was 24 years old. It was in 1944. I married a GI, a soldier, George Duquette. What was the first thing you saw in America? Was it the Statue of Liberty? Yes. Ellis Island? Yes. And it, then they brought us to uh, some kind of military base or something. And I, I was in a hotel. But when I, I was on the bus, the first impression I seen of America, I thought, what a dirty city. I know the American cookbook says that you're only supposed to can you uh, four apples for apple pie, but that's, that's hardly any apples in there. So I put a lot of apples in there. I think I better put a couple more in there. All, all my ingredients were different, especially the flour. Was everything was different. It was hard to start over again. I was uh, 
24 at a time. Nan 72. Yellow raisins. Oh, I love raisins in my pie. Some people don't like raisins, but I do. This reminds me of apple strudel in Germany. Prost. Sugar. I don't measure it, I just put it in. Just so they won't burn. Cinnamon. And this is a clove. Ground clove a little bit, not too much. And let it simmer for a little while and then after just before uh, I put some cornstarch in it. Put some ice water in there. I just try to put it together to make a like a big dumpling. Try to work every single in. See how nice this is. I think it's my best pie crust I ever baked. See? Now I gotta put a little I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in there. See there's not too much in there. Just enough. Your secret to a pie is everything gotta be right room temperature like to say. sticks. Put a little bit of warm butter, melted butter. So right like this. Here you go. Put your things on top of it. There you go. Isn't that nice? You press it down. Make sure it's all nice and pressed down. And I'm gonna cut around it. Right, right around it. I'm gonna put like little little triangles like this. Gives it a little bit of, so that it bubbles over a little bit. Like this. Try to bring it in. And look at how nice it came out. Here it goes in the oven. There you go. Here we go. It's done. Let's hope it, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, about maybe uh, 45 minutes to an hour until it's nice and flaky. You don't want to overcook it because you don't want the crust to be too dried out. That's the worst part in cooking and making pies. Even any kind, even cookies and anything, the cleaning up, it takes me the longest. And the, 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 look at this mess. Look at over there, all my mess. And oh, look at this, it's ready. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm gonna take it out. Take it 
and drop it. And I'm gonna go put it outside for I got a board set up and let it cool for tomorrow's Thanksgiving dinner. Isn't that a pie or isn't that? Thank you, sir. Thumbs up. Happy Thanksgiving.